if you were riding in that car, please let your conscience tell you to do the right thing and come forward. An Omaha family pleads for help after a hit and run, run uh, excuse me, hit and run driver killed their son on New Year's in New Orleans. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Josh Woodruff was only 28 years old. Police have searched for the car that hit and killed him for weeks and still no arrests. Today, his parents want their message heard. Here's Miranda Christian. New Orleans, New Orleans police and the Woodruff family say they know someone knows or saw something. Now they're asking for that person to come forward so the family can have some closure. It will never be totally righted. We have to learn how to live without Josh. Karen Woodruff lost her 28 year old son Josh New Year's Day when he was run over by a hit and run driver in the New Orleans French Quarter and dragged for six miles. He sent us a, a text on New Year's night that said, before I get going for the evening, I just want you to know how ridiculously thankful I am for you and how pumped I am for 2016. The New Orleans police have been searching for this black sedan they picked up on security cameras. Our investigators are working tirelessly around the clock, searching every angle, looking at every video, continuing to look for more evidence, looking for more leads, but what we need is help from the community. The police say the public has been good at helping in the past, and they need that help again. Now we need you to step up one more time. Josh's father, Mark, is asking the driver of that car to come forward. So we're asking, turn yourself in. You, you need that cleansing of your conscience. The Woodruff say the support they've received has helped them get through the grieving process, and they hope that support will lead to finding the person who killed their son. So I would ask you, just as the chief did, if you know anything or think you have seen anything, please help. Please help us. Please. The reward from Crime Stoppers in New Orleans has been raised to $10,000. Some of that money coming from the Woodruffs. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.